Hi, welcome to another Shepherd's Week in Review. Now this week we've got lots of special goodies for you, starting with Designer Spotlight, all about Beauty Feel Shoes, one of our all-time favorites. Wardrobe Wednesday was the one size cashmere topper in all kinds of colors. Fashion Friday, delights for petites and taller girls, you'll see. And then um, on Coffee Talk, we have met with Sydney, who is the creator of Love's Pure Light, modal scarves that will caress you in love. Enjoy and shop the collections up here. Beauty really does come from head to toe. We've got your toes and your feet covered in this Shepherd's Designer Spotlight, all about Beauty Feel. So Beauty Feel is a hands-down customer favorite here at Shepherd's. It's about footwear that is ergonomically designed with the finest Italian leathers to make your feet happy. We're gonna show you some of our fall favorites, including this booty. So this is the side zip ankle boot. It features a block heel, as you can see. It has the zipper, which acts as an accent, and a high, low hemline against the ankle. Unzip the booty to reveal a lovely little print inside. It's all about details that delight with beauty feel. The next shoe is the Gia. It has that wide elasticized band that really fits, conforms to the shape of the foot that blocked heel again. So it's kind of a shoe and a booty, a shoe We are mad for the Mystique. The Mystique is a core piece in Beauty Feel. Beauty Feel is produced and designed in Israel. And again, it's about the construction of the footwear that make them world renowned. So great insoles, latex outsoles, anti-slip grips. This is what makes these shoes a pleasure to wear from daytime for business wear to evening. And if you have foot issues and you want to wear something with a dress, a skirt, you want something with a bit of a kitten heel or Beauty Feel's highest heel is a seven centimeters as shown here on what they call their passion style footwear. So this features that scalloped kind of contoured uh, against the foot. It's it's about making the foot look beautiful, but more importantly, it's, it offers support, practicality, and elegance. Now, we're on to the octagon heel shoe. We did this one in a leopard print because we wanted to go on the wild side. But again, isn't this just really so feminine? Each beauty feel shoe comes with its own shoe bag. The heels do have their own little heel tip as well which you you can replace this so this makes it a shoe that is an investment shoe that you will have for seasons and seasons to come they never wear out onto the wedge slip on shoe so this has those lovely little gold te details and it's kind of that suede texture um, again the support is there so we hope that you've enjoyed our designer spotlight all about beauty feel the shoes are available to shop in store and online shepherdsfashions.com worldwide hello and welcome to another shepherd's wardrobe wednesday today we are making gift giving easy with our one size cashmere topper primal's got the idea she sure does and here we have all the colors of beautiful rainbow full of colors for everybody in your life mm -hmm. what we also love about this cashmere topper here you are wearing it Stephanie, is that you can wear it as an overpiece, you can wear it as an accessory. It keeps you warm, it's that soft layer that you can wear four seasons. Absolutely, two plies, a beautiful quality. It's gonna keep you warm, but it's lightweight, so you're not gonna overheat. Mm -hmm. This is a neat way that you tie to Elaine. It's called mm -hmm. the teardrop, so you still get it, the coverage in the back, but just, it's a little less in the front. Yes, and then you can wear it as a scarf. So just loop the edges through that, that, that original loop. There you go, cozy, yeah. cozy. Very nice. Okay, so we've got, well, great colors to show you. And again, we're adding a little luxe to your everyday. Geneva's just about five feet tall. Okay. So if you're thinking, I'm petite, um, you could absolutely still wear it. You can square it off at the, at the front as she's done. Or you can wear diagonal like Wendy here in the beautiful crimson red. Of course, black, white, and red is a classic pop. I love oh, it. Yes, most certainly. And it's nice over a sweater. It's also great over a jumpsuit if you're going out in the evening. Absolutely. This is such a beautiful look for the holidays. I mean, yes. how timely. Mm -hmm. Most certainly. And then as you see, you can add a brooch on there as well. 
um, or a necklace. I like that you can wear a necklace over it. So That's right. It's not so bulky. Exactly. And it adds your personality. It makes it yours, personalizes it. And you'll notice that we've put a lot of these toppers over black, mm -hmm. but we've only done that to show you, to, to really show off the, the cashmere topper. Yes. I mean, these really do go with anything and everything. Yes, they do. And they're four season wear. Here's another great way to wear it. Create a cowl neck at the front and just lay it flat at the back and it replaces the look of a necklace. And here we have it in the white. Mm -hmm. And I will say, just for those watching, it is more of an off-white or a soft white. Uh, so really quite flattering on so many different skin tones. And you can see how lightweight it is. Yes. And here we have it in the pastel pink on a gorgeous customer. It's a color, I think, that works with almost every skin tone. Absolutely. And we keep talking about these icy tones. And mm -hmm. there you have it here in the Heather Gray. And Elaine, you've paired it with your coat, yes. which is very interesting. But now I'm flying south, right? Wow, so yes. When we say four season wear, it's such a light topper. You're going somewhere air conditioning. It's perfect. And of day course, to evening. day to evening, actually very late into the evening. And yes. you will definitely be the best dressed at your pajama party. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. So again, the one size cashmere topper available here at Shepherds in the store and online worldwide. Absolutely. This is one of these gifts. I just want to say, Elaine, before yes. we finish, this is one of these gifts that's not going to get returned. So maybe she's not going to buy it for herself. But if she receives it, she will absolutely cherish it and would love to have one in her wardrobe. Add a little luxe to your everyday. Hello and welcome to Fashion Friday. Today I hope you got your seatbelts buckled because we are living in the fast lane. We've got so much to show you so without further ado let's get started. One of the best puffer jackets. It's We've kept it a secret until now. It's Frank Lyman. Look at the chinoiserie details on this. Plus the shape is fantastic. It's got the zipper, the hood that you can unzip, um, and it's yes, the and it colors. makes it like a like a collar. Yes. So it fills in a little bit. And yeah, beautiful right. colors, bright. This mm -hmm. is for the person who wants a black jacket, but not a plain black jacket. Exactly. So it adds a little bit of life to the to our dull and snowy winters. Uh-huh. And the turtleneck underneath we will show you more of. It's one of our great one size pieces. Here's Kathy Donovan. Kathy Donovan. So she's our uh, our go-to petite model. She's mm -hmm. five foot. And look how great this jacket looks from Joseph Ripkoff. It's new. It's the, called the Tulip Sleeve Shirt Jacket. If you like the feeling of nylon, you can see it's structured on the shoulder. It's got the big, big buttons. Uh, high collar. Here's Sandra wearing it in more uh, dressed up with a culotte look. So wanted to show you that proportion play. Absolutely. Great for the holidays. We're all mm -hmm. looking for those pieces that we can wear for special occasions, but then wear again in our wardrobe, exactly. right? So this is the perfect piece for that. And navy and black. Oh, so Parisienne. That's right. Don't be afraid of navy and black. Right. Okay, so Kathy Donovan is going with us on our Dashing on the Danube cruise. These are pieces that she selected to wear. So the one size um, piece, the poncho. The jean from Lisette. So it's cute. New. With that little slit with those beautiful little crystals. It's called the gemmed denim. 26 inches. Stephanie, you'll be happy to hear. So again, for that petite five feet tall, you don't have to hem these at all. It's great. And underneath, what is she wearing? She's wearing a go-to tee from Simply. That's it. It's all about the base. Mm -hmm. Okay, this piece, one size cashmere topper, four season wear, multitude of colors, and look, Kathy has squared it off at the front. So again, if you're five feet tall, you can wear this. Open up the neckline, put a beautiful necklace. This is great for you. This is great for all of your friends. This mm -hmm. is, I think, one of the best gift ideas of the season. She won't return it. She won't said, return right? it. This is not a gift someone's going to return. They're going to love it. A little bit of luxe for the everyday. Same cashmere topper worn as a scarf here. So very, very practical. And then, of course, we've done our little pedal, which we like to do. Uh, pull one side Oh, under and over and loop it and you've got yourself a beautiful little topper on this star uh, piece from Nick, uh, Nally Millie. Nally and Millie. Mm -hmm. So this is soft. These are so soft, soft, soft knits. So if you have any issues with, you know, uh, knits feeling picky on you or if you have any, you know, sensitive skin reactions to this is the line that you want to go with. Good point. Here's Aha. So this is Marlene Shepard's 
sister-in-law uh, in yes. from Vancouver yes, visiting and she, us. Yes, and she was talking about how she watches us all the time, so we said we're going to put you in our video now. Yes, welcome Aha to the Fashion Friday family. So she's wearing, again, one of her one-size toppers in red and some Batami jewelry, uh, which she has just discovered here in store during her visit. So simple and so elegant. Yes. Okay, so this is another one-size top. We have discovered this, introducing it this week. So it's in that uh, kind of a, a burgundy color. Yeah, burgundy. It is. It's a yeah, red undertones. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice with this uh, kind of Burberry inspired one size uh, scarf. So here's a better view of that cowl neck top, and it's a high low. It's got the full sleeve with a cuff at. The, um, at the end. And what would you say? So it's one size PC Lane, mm -hmm. but what does one size mean for this topper? Right. So in this case, we would say that it would go up to a size 14. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. So I love this step hem here. So it's a little bit shorter or a little bit shorter in the front, a little longer in the back. Mm -hmm. Just, oh, wow. You layered it. Uh huh. So here it is in the kind of an olive green. And we did the poncho from um, a Inoa. new line, Enoa. So this is a street Parisian scene. So there's lots to look at here it's a conversation piece here again is the one size topper and we did my favorite scarf it's reversible retails for about fifty dollars it's lots of scarf it's a blanket scarf okay it is, yeah lean into it lean into the blanket yes and i just love this kind of cognac cumin colored one size beautiful topper. lovely with the teddy bear jacket yes. or teddy bear coat from joseph ribkoff she looks cuddly she looks cozy mm -hmm. and you've kept everything tone on tone so although it's not the exact same color it all goes together beautifully. Yes, and uh, the Ooh Baby bag, real leather. So this is a find. It's a Canadian design, and the, the gloves are fine. They're the texting gloves with all those kind of pumpkin, warm, spicy colors in them. And it's a textural play as well, right? Here it's the boucle coat, the felted... Uh, <gasps> Elaine, I'm sorry, I have, to cut you, I have to cut you off because these <laughs> silk toppers are back and I'm so Yay. excited for everybody. Mm -hmm. Women collect these. So this first one is peach haze. So they all kind of go to black, if you will. Uh, and then next one, new to us, is called In the Wings. So you're going to see the Degas ballerinas here. Just absolutely stunning. So if you're not familiar with these pieces, they're from Cocoon. They are a one-size silk kimono. They are lightweight. They mm -hmm. just add a bit of drama, a bit of color mm -hmm. to your to your base. And I know we've said it, we've said it before, we'll say it again. It is all about the base. And here Wendy is wearing head-to-toe bone from Eileen Fisher. Mm -hmm. Well, it's ethereal. It's soft. It's light. And again, it's that third piece that we keep talking about you want a little bit of sleeve coverage and you want to create interest personalize your look you can you can also wear it over a full-length sleeve so here is kirsten wearing the crest <laughs> crest, crest design it looks mm -hmm. um japanese inspired yes. to me like a japanese painting and she's paired it over the um uh, the titanium color the graphite i'm sorry graphite color from simply, from simply. so it does go back to black but it mm -hmm. also goes back to your other color neutrals Exactly. Even if you wanted to do this with a white jean, it oh, would, would be, be lovely. splendid. Yeah. We're talking four season wear. And if you have one and if you want another one, you can always drop a hint. If you shop online, get one of your loved ones to offer That's it to right. you as a gift. Absolutely. They'll get an right? email and it'll say, Elaine wants the Crest Cocoon co uh, Kimono. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would say, okay, and I'm going to buy it for her for Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next in um, our collection is Juicy. Juicy. Think the tropics. Think mm -hmm. you're on the beach and you're having a beautiful tropical juice drink. Yes, please. And then Polly, as in Polly wants a cracker. So again, tropical, there's, it's phonic here. So you've got the hibiscus going on, all of the different birds, different sizes, the toucans, the parrots, they're all there. Oh my gosh, you could just see how, how beautiful these are, how mm -hmm. soft they are. There's so much movement in these pieces. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, I, I can see why women collect these. I can see why these are collector pieces. You'll have these forever. Next is the World of tulips so this we've had before we wanted to bring it back because of the saturation of color there's an intensity there these will make you smile uh, water nymph we've had before as well so really
really happy it's back in stock. We have a waiting list um, for for these pieces. Absolutely, they're they're a piece of art. They mm -hmm. literally are wearable art, watercolor mm -hmm. art. Yes. Now we have the silk infinity scarf. So this is a different shape. It's kind of sewn on. It's an infinity scarf, really. It is, and you can mm -hmm. wear it different ways. This this would be wonderful for traveling, especially if you're going down south. You get a little bit of arm coverage, but mm -hmm. uh, but it is more of a scarf than an actual cardigan or jacket. Yes, you you can wear it as a topper here. It's lovely. This one is called House of Munich in this coloration, and here I'm wearing the same silk infinity scarf. This time in the peach haze coloration. You'll notice that I I did it with a culotte from Frank Lyman. It's a pleated culotte, so it's a really nice again a mix of uh, of shapes. Absolutely, and we go back again to these pieces that we can wear for our special occasions with mm -hmm. the holidays around the corner. Yes, uh, you know, going to friends' homes, going to cocktail parties, going to office parties, and these are pieces that you can wear over and over and over again. As is this dress, which has a decidedly uh, Hollywood glam Absolutely. kind of Absolutely. Vintage inspired glam, mm -hmm. especially with that little pleated uh, pleated satin uh, clutch that Sandra's wearing. Yes. So this is the uh, mixed media dress. So it's the jersey top and then it has the, the pearls at the belt at the front and a taffeta A-line skirt. So if you're a pear shape, you want to accentuate your waist beautiful. Stephanie, you wore it here. We filmed this week CTV News at Noon with Leanne Cusack. Yes, we did. Hollywood Glam, and you wore this, and oh la la. Yes, and it was so comfortable because mm -hmm. you're right. Be at the jersey top, you don't have to worry about being restricted, and it does have a looser skirt, and, you know, we're all thinking it. It'd be yes. nice to have a little bit of extra room when you go out for all those holiday dinners. So we've shown you a lot. This has been really fast paced and we know that you lead fast paced lives. So we would like to know what fashion do you go to to lead your fast paced life? And you could win a $50 gift card from Shepherds that you can use in store or online at shepherdsfashions.com. Thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you next Monday for finishing touches on Wednesday for Wardrobe Wednesday and of course next Fashion Friday. Welcome to Shepherd's Coffee Talk. A very inspiring story today. We're going to be talking all about, okay, we're going to be talking about cycling and cooking and gardening and flowers and art. Oh, Unbelievable! Oh <laughs> all in this package right here. This is Cindy Galbraith. She is the owner, founder, creator of Love's Pure Light Luxury Silks. Ooh. Shepherds has really adopted Sydney as part of yeah. the Shepherds family. Call Mama Marlene. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, I love how you just how you do the work you do. Uh, so let's talk about what you do because we'll talk a little bit about what you did before to get you here. Yes. But what is Love's Pure Light Luxury Silks, and why do you call it that? Uh, Love's Pure Light Luxury Silks is a Canadian fashion line. I've I launched with that idea, um, just about bringing the light out in the marketplace. Um, you know, we all need hope, we all need encouragement, we all need um, to need love, to know that we're loved, you know, <laughs> when we know that we're loved, um, we're free to run. I love how you talk about the fact that you've got women covered. <laughs> like literally got them covered with the intention of what you just yeah. described. This idea that, you know, we wear our feelings kind of thing, you yeah. know, to feel that somebody cares for you and has created something yeah. so beautiful. Every one of your pieces tells a story. That's it. So and let's talk about that. Yeah, so my message really um, has been a journey for me. It's been a nine-year journey of fashioning the heart first. And, you know, you introduced me as this, wow, you know, you were this, you were this, you were this, you were this. But um, the reality is, is it wasn't who I was. I was hiding mm. underneath all of that. <laughs> and um, just to go a bit backwards, um, I had a rock bottom, a few rock bottom moments in my life mm -hmm. after my professional athletic career. As a cyclist, we yeah. should say, Sydney was on the national team for cycling, right? Yeah, 10, yeah. 10, uh, 10 years I was on the Canadian national cycling team and won three titles, went to Worlds twice, and uh, um, it was just through that striving and performance, you know, you're working to be great, you know, nothing against pro sports, but uh, I knew deep down that wasn't who I was. Mm. So um, I hung up the bike from my career and, uh, you know, got skilled in other areas, thinking I could be a chef, I could yes. go study wines, I could be in floral. I had to create a passion, but it wasn't until I, I, again, was falling into the performance base 
uh, mm -hmm. mentality in every area. You know, people say, wow, look what you're doing, wow. Right. But that wasn't who it was. So. And the competition, yeah. too. There's a competitive yeah. aspect in all yeah. the areas you just described yeah. as well as cycling. So I had this uh, idea, you know, before this even started, was that, you know, I would go and run and hide. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I decided to go hide in a job at a retirement home, uh, working with the elderly people. Okay. And um, how many of us have been in that position, right? I just wish I could hide, and that's yes, what I did. Yes. And uh, I say, you know, sometimes what we think is our setback when we have those rock bottom moments, mm. it's a setup. Mm -hmm. Right. For, it's a setup. Our setbacks can be a setup for truth. That's right. Where we're headed. And during every retirement home shift, it was a 12-hour 12, 12 shift. I. Uh, I encountered love, you know, I, old people, no, you know, I'm sorry, like <laughs> our elders of Canada, um, you know, they, um, they, they know when something's wrong, um, mm -hmm. you know, they know um, when you're not yourself, um, they, uh, they can pick up on things and they know how to love you in those areas. So. Um, I, I adopted all these elderly people and after every retirement home shift I would go home and you know midnight I was renting a basement studio I have never taken an art lesson in my life but I had this idea to paint messages of who I am on my clothes <laughs> so that's what I did I'd go home I was running in the basement next to a filing cabinet there was a treadmill I think in the one room and I would paint just you know I am loved I'm forgiven um, I have a purpose and I would, write, I would write these messages on my silk blouses that I had from years of, you know, loving fashion, but now I'm working in a retirement home, I'm wearing scrubs every day, and, <laughs> and I would wear these silk clothes, um, with just words on them, little pictures, you know, and uh, I'd wear them underneath my scrubs every day at the retirement home, just to remind myself that I, I, mm. I have a future. And, you know, it, it went on for a couple of years and eventually people found out about what I was doing <laughs> and I would go to little art shows and um, just little craft markets and set up a booth and my passion was just to be an expression mm -hmm. of love in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. Not a judgment, not like, this is right, that is wrong, you need to do better, because those were the lies mm -hmm. I struggled with mm -hmm. as an athlete mm -hmm. and um, just not measuring up and I, I know from all being there, so we maybe we shouldn't struggle with that, but it's a constant lie we all yeah. hear yeah. as women and men. Like you're yep. not good enough, you're not going to make it. You know, you screwed up or yeah. whatever. It's part of the human and conundrum, really. It mm -hmm. it really was just a me and God thing. It was like uh, I'm doing this for myself, but I, I have such a passion because of what I'm doing that I'm going to get out and do these little shows and. You know, I was just kind of running with a creative idea I had. Didn't think anything of a business, anything, you know, <laughs> I didn't think anything of it. And, um, you know, I kind of kept it on the back burner for a bit and I'd go places. It was, oh, I need a scarf. Can you make me one? And it was just, I was painting one by one by one oh, okay. and selling each one, you know, take pictures of it. Um, and it wasn't until just a couple years ago, you know, I'm in California, I'd been to New Zealand. Um, was always doing the creative thing, you know. Uh, I was in New Zealand doing little beach shows and beach markets, being an expression of love in the marketplace. And then I was offered a job in California. Um, I ended up getting engaged uh, a couple of years ago, and it was all these like, wow, again, they're like, wow, you're you're waiting, you're gonna wow. be an American or whatever. And <laughs> confession, Canada, I love you. I did not. <laughs> Realized how Canadian I was until I was <laughs> really until you got submerged into that. Culture. And the more you know, you're waiting for your visa, you're, you're ready to get married. It was like just the red flags were going off in my spirit, and this wasn't it, you know. Mm -hmm. So I literally walked away from an engagement, I walked away from a great career down in Laguna Beach, Beach City, and I got in my little Toyota car, you know, <laughs> barely, and I flee back wow. to Canada. Uh, 2017, lived in my parents' basement for a year, mm -hmm. like mom and dad's house, you know. Mm -hmm. and bless your mom and dad. And bless <laughs> bless yeah. mothers and fathers who just welcome their kids home, mm -hmm. right? always. Mm -hmm. And that voice came to me and says, I want you to build love's pure light. I want you to build love's <laughs> pure light is what the voice yeah, said. Like, that was what? a whisper in their ear. Oh. You had a direction, wow. you and, had a motivation. You know, I think so many times, even I was struggling with that, I was on my own worst enemy. I didn't think, oh, I'm just, an, you know, I don't want to be just right. an artist. I want to be yes. just like this, you know, I don't even want to say it. But just those lies were coming to me about being an artist or being someone who's creative. Mm -hmm. 
But what I didn't realize is that was a gift that God had given me to release my passion in a pure way mm -hmm. um, that's going to touch lives. So I, you know, being vulnerable, I had about 500 bucks in my bank. It's good. <laughs> Living with it's my good. parents, what am I going to do with my life? Mm -hmm. And I heard that voice and I just said, okay, I'll go for it, you know. And it was those years of being in that cave, living in that basement mm -hmm. where I was broken. And those words were rebuilding me, who I was from the inside out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I had all the art from uh, years, right. you know? So people right. say, well, how do you have all these ideas, you know? And you guys make me sound so great. But <laughs> the truth is, you know, this really has been a, a miracle mm -hmm. that these pieces are coming together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just, uh, yeah, and you're spreading the word. I think the thing is, yeah. we get so, in our own way so often yeah. around what is our what we're supposed to be doing here yeah. on earth, and we overthink everything, and we let all the criticism and other people's yeah. opinions stump us. We lose instead exhausting. of really yeah. listening to our own good guidance, which yeah. is what we call intuition or yes. whatever that voice yeah. is you ascribe doesn't matter. But but somehow when you get to that place where you realize. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't care how you see it. Yeah. This is what I need to do, yeah. and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, yeah. what happens is that the world met your beautiful intention yeah. of love's pure light because yeah. you're right. Yeah. This is the one gift. Look at Ellen DeGeneres. She, mm -hmm. she has a talk show one hour every single day, and her message is just love. Yeah. That's, it. that's it. Kindness and love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the mm -hmm. world needs this, but you know, yeah. we get to wear it. So that's yeah. even more fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about yeah. some of the designs now? That yeah. So you take this experience you had in the basement of creating designs and yeah. your experience with, you know, your passion for flowers, of course, yeah. and all the things that sort of converge now, yeah. your love of the beach and all yeah. the things. Yeah. And now you create these beautiful designs. So can we talk about a few pieces that we're going to see yeah. and, and just explain a little bit of the story? Yeah, so you just said it right there. The piece you're wearing is where your treasure is, there your heart will be. Where your treasure, where your treasure is, is, there your heart will there be. Your heart will and be. I oh. love the beach. Yes, I love the mountains. But it's all of these experiences that I've encountered through my life of, yeah, being an athlete, yeah, being other things that weren't that um, shroud of who I am today. Right. But I get to release them through my creativity. Right. And I try to choose. You know, most of the things I love, people love too. You know, like the beach, food, mm -hmm. fashion, yeah. uh, flowers, roses, right. um, dresses, mm -hmm. uh, nature, just really natural beauty. But I try to um, really sit um, in that place and I want to fashion the heart first. Mm -hmm. And that's my message in the marketplace is when your heart feels good, mm -hmm. right? You look good, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you know, sure. that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. That's right. Right. And so I say it's fashion from the inside out. Right. And it's everlasting fashion. Uh, um, you know, because these these are pieces to your heart that will be forever. Um, uh, Marlene is wearing a piece called uh, "My Head Is Lifted High" and I've got feet with a beat, and it's a painting I did of all of these um, crazy giraffes. I call them my giraffes in the Canadian Rocky Mountains, yeah. and you'll find um, little giraffes oh, in the painting yeah. with. Uh, shoes with wings, Aww. you know, because if you're a giraffe, you're already tall, but uh, imagine a giraffe with wings, he's even higher and his head is high, <laughs> way up in the clouds, <laughs> and he's wearing a scarf, he's wearing a scarf in there, so there's little uh, messages of that, that when you're having a bad day, just think of a giraffe, right, <laughs> if you're a giraffe in the Canadian Rockies, all you need to know is that your head is we don't we don't uh, call in enough whimsy day to day, you know. And this yeah. is an opportunity so, when you're wearing it, and people will yeah. ask you, "Well, what's your scarf all about?" And then you can tell them. The well, story and, and so many of them, you can you could <laughs> frame them, right? Yeah. I mean, you're, they yeah. are works of art. Mm -hmm. They have a wonderful message. They adorn your body, add totally. color, add warmth, yeah. add interest. Let, let's talk about the newest one. This is your your representation of uh, yeah, all actually, the Canadian yeah. flowers. Yeah. We'll show it. We'll show that. Mm. Um, so the most recent painting I did, actually, I started before I came to Marlene's store, and it really was like the ammo of these these Canadian bride in the store that gave me the push to complete it. I said, I gotta complete this before I get back here. And it's a painting of our Canadian bride where all the corporate women in Canada, every provincial flower I, I saw in the dress um, as one, you know, the diversity, the colors, the texture, the beauty of all of the uh, flowers mm -hmm. blooming in Canada. You know, we're entering a, a new year, we're almost at the end of our year. and. Um, yeah, just the essence of who we are as Canadians. What is the reference to bride? I hear you say that a lot. Um, well, uh, 
Was that done for a bridal dress? Well, I have a hand-painted wedding dress I've done. You'll see it on my bio card and they've got it in the store here. It's actually a real silk wedding dress. Okay. And it was a creative project I took on just as an expression of my brand that we're all seen as a beautiful bride. Hmm. You know, sure, we all have colors, we all have flavors. Um, we're all seen as a beautiful bride with a, covered by a veil um, that protects us. We're white, we're holy, we're, we're without stain or blemish. We're all a bride, whether you're married or not. But when that veil is removed, um, there's colors that promises <laughs> of your, that, that color your life. <laughs> and that was the vision I saw when I was creating that was, you know, uh, we're all this beautiful bride with a story. You have a story, mm -hmm. you have a story. And mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, my wounds have now been uh, warfare. Like they've been my battle right. wounds of story. Right. Your motivation. And, yeah. and um, you know, I remember when I first started creating this bride's dress, it was a second hand dress and I did some sewing on it and worked with it. My mom saw what I was doing. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing now? Sydney. But we're so grateful that you do. God bless my mom and dad. <laughs> Well, we're they grateful to your mom and dad, yeah. for sure, without question. So, now, you brought a little friend yeah, along. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk so, about your little friend so here. So this is, um, they all have names, you know. And, um, of course they and do. And it's funny, because when I met Marlene Shepherd, she's the mama shepherd. Yeah, she's the mama shepherd. And these are little sheep. They come in white, yeah. pink, yeah, and they're black. they're real Canadian Mongolian sheep's wool. And oh. so I lived in New Zealand. And the message behind the sheep is this. So I had this amazing idea. You know, I was sitting there doing markets, just having fun with my ideas. I had all my silk scarves. I'm gonna catch a sheep and I'm gonna dress it up in my clothes. Because you know what? I was, I was, I'm painting only on silk. And silk is a very lightweight, natural, pure heirloom fiber. It will be forever. When the sheep puts on the silk scarf, all of the baggage and the shaggage all the dead weight falls off. When he puts on the Canadian armor of love's pure light, he knows that he's covered in love. So this picture here is a real sheep. Sheep dressed up in a scarf. I caught with my own two hands, <laughs> and he's got the armor. Armor of Love's Relate. So I have a, a, one of my designs is called I'm a Bahama Lama Sheep Prima Donna. Um, <laughs> this love is my shepherd. I shall not want. Oh, and when you put on the armor of Love's Relate, you know you're loved. Your heart feels good. Right. You could just go out and you slay. could conquer the world in one of these cars. <laughs> and that, that's a huge slay. I love how you think so, outside the house. So, 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 me so, too. Me too. So, I, I love the scars. <laughs> So they're fashionable, there are lots of color, Beautiful. they're a great story, yes. they're a great gift giving idea because they're one size and you're a delight to have. And, you know, they, you ignite the story when you're here for our church. And shows. the intention <laughs> is that you are clothed yeah. in love, courtesy yes. of this beautiful spirit yeah. right here. So thank you, Sid, yes. so much for joining us today. Thank you. Coffee. It's it's an an honor. Bless your beautiful yes. heart. Yes. Thank, thank you for joining you. us. Cheers. <laughs>